Hi, FlossTube. Uh, I'm back. Today is uh, Wednesday, October the 14th, and I am filling my little, uh, filming a little FlossTube extra today. Um, I just had the evening. You know, I usually stitch in the evenings, and I didn't, I don't know, it wasn't calling to me tonight, so I thought I would just do a whip parade. Um, so I have a lot. Um, this video will probably be probably be long. So buckle up. <laughs> um, grab yourself a beverage and I hope you enjoy stitching. I don't have notes. I'm kind of just doing this on the fly. Um, I'm sitting in my, my craft room. Um, I usually film in that chair, but because I have my stuff kind of spread out, this is the pile of whips and there's some on this side of me. Um, so I'm just sitting on the floor today. That's my like quilt wall. I talked about that uh, that quilt in my last floss tube video a little bit. I didn't go into detail, but um, that's my motivator to do some um, sewing. Anyways, um, as I said, it's Wednesday evening, so the lighting is kind of a little bit terrible. I apologize for that. I will do my best to um, give you details on the the whips uh, as far as fabric and and floss and pattern designer and all that stuff um, but if you have questions please ask me okay um, these really aren't in any particular order but I just happen to have all of my fall Halloween whips kind of together because I was pulling them out to work on them so I'll show those first um, I have a couple three that I showed in my last video that I'm, I haven't put any more work into, so I'm not going to include them um, today. So here we go. First whip is um, this Trick or Treat by Stitching with the Housewives. I've shown this on my floss tube before. I don't think I've worked on it since I showed it actually, but um, I'm stitching it on a purple, I think it's called Evil Queen by Be Stitch Me. Um, I didn't write down fabric, but um, it's a even weave, probably 28 count. Um, and the lighting is crappy, but that's fairly true to color. Um, and here's my gloss. I'm using um, called for or close. Um, so yeah, there's one. And I'm going to try to keep this organized. Sorry, you're going to hear zippers. And my dog is licking herself. Let's see. Okay, um, the next one is called Shabby Autumn Calendar by Corey Batacore. This is a ginormous piece. I'm using the call, for most of the call for DMC, or if not, if it's not the call for, it's close. Um, but here is my little start. This is stitched on 18 count toast by Be Stitch Me. The giant, giant piece of fabric. This thing's gonna be huge. Um, and I kind of was toying with the idea of not including this bottom part. Um, so I don't know yet. But I obviously won't finish it this season and I have a lot of time to ponder. Okay, next is um, Hands on Design Autumn. Let's talk autumn. Um, I am stitching this on 16 count beta with the called for DMC. Um, and this is my progress. I had high hopes of finishing this, um, this uh, for this season, but. I don't think that's going to happen. I'm kind of losing my desire to stitch fall, which is crazy because I was really motivated. I had all the fall stitching ready and I'm kind of feeling the pull to start Christmas stuff, winter stuff. But um, the next one, Halloween Sampler by Cottage Garden. This is the first one. She just released a second one um, that I have and will probably stitch. Here is my progress, not a whole lot. 
Um, and that's what the call for journal arts plus the die lot changed um, in one of the one of them. I think it's blackboard. The letters on here are much uh, have a lot more purple in it than my stains of blackboard do. So that's kind of a bummer. Um, next is I haven't been showing the bags. This is a beautiful dot dot ghost designs bag. I think I got it last year. Pattern is um, Autumn Blessings by Waxing Moon. It's stitched with most of the called for, um, mostly weeks, and some of it I subbed out because I think my my LNS at the time didn't have didn't have on some of them so. That's my progress. Um, this was a mania start this year. I think this is the, the only one so far. I, I will try to include that if you care. It's stitched on a piece of 16 count ivory by uh, Wichell, I think, that I got. Offered from Fat Quarter Shop. Um, next is this was, these were um a mania start i i this is hand, um yeah hands on design no yeah hands on design the scary apothecary series they have one finish so that's spider legs um and then I'm stitching these with the with most of the called for uh, fancy floss. I have a little start on, oh gosh, I think this is skeleton polish. Um, skeleton polish. And then I have purple. Sorry, I'm just going to flash. I have the... Uh, Showing the pattern. I have some. Three of them are going to be on that black color. Three of them will be on this green, and three of them will be on this um, purple color. It's kind of just a solid purple. Um, 16 count Ada for all of them. Um, like I said, Mania Star. I just keep these in the Amazon bag. Which I might transfer them over because I, I have a few fun bags and I, I have a few uh, ones that I got that aren't uh, the Amazon ones. Okay, um, this bag has holds three whips. <laughs> this is a bag that I made. Um, I have all of these that I'm going to stitch. I'm not going to stitch. There's six in the series. I finished one that I showed you last week, and I, I have two, this one and one other one started, and then the last one kitted up. So, um, Seasons in Chalk Halloween, this is in the Just Cross Stitch 2016 magazine, by Hands On Design and Priscilla Green, called for Fancy Floss. Stitched on a 16 count uh, Ada. This is all I have so far. Um, I am going to work on this this weekend. There's like a little pop up event um, in the magazine monthly challenge Facebook group. Um, and the, the goal is to stitch a thousand stitches or 10 hours on over a Friday through Sunday period, 10 hours on a, um, something with the gourd in it, I think, or a pumpkin in it, something like that. Um, and that piece was one of my goals to get finished this month. I don't know if it's going to happen and it's already the 14th, but anyways, um, here is the other one I have um, started from that series. Oh, this is Seasons in Chalk Summer. 
Um, I started this in Mania. Let's see. I think I must have to set this part because I think it's the bottom. I think it goes like this. Yeah. <laughs> Um, so there's that. And then I actually put a few stitches in this today. The Way We Ride by Blackbird Designs in a um, Stitch and Madness bag. Um, I am stitching this on, I think this is. 28 or 32 count um, even weave like Lugana in s'mores by Be Stitch Me um, with the called for sorry I get lots of junk text messages called for um, floss I really like that one looks so beautiful finished uh, Hopefully I'll finish it next year. Next is Halloween Owls by Madame Chantilly. Um, stitched on a piece of Be Stitch Me. Oh, I think it's Boot Camp. Um, opalescent. It is some... I think I kind of did a color conversion. So they're similar to the picture, but I did some changing up. Um, one more Halloween swipe, I think. And I think I just showed this in my last video. Maybe. Um, Halloween Quilt by Corey Batacore. It's mostly the call for DMC. That's a big piece. 14 count um, vintage country mocha Ada. And I'm keeping that in this uh, So Much to Love project bag I got. Okay, I think that's it for the Halloween stuff. This bag, Fun Fact Workshop, I have all of the I think it's all of the Waxing Moon Designs house trios in here. Um, so this is the Autumn House Trio. I have a lot of the called for floss. So these are used in multiple houses. These are just for this Autumn House. So I keep those with the, the bag. Um, and then that way, if I feel like working on a particular season, I'm not very far. Um, I can just pull the floss from, from that particular bag. I don't know if that makes sense, what I just said. Um, this is in linen, probably a 28 count. Looks like a 28 count. Um, I started that one in Mania, and I got all these kitted up, but I haven't started a lot of them. Let's see that I started this summer house. I should have been a little more organized. Started this one, started this one. Here's the summer house trio. That's something started. <laughs> but this is the piece of fabric I'm going to stitch it on. I'm going to stitch them, all of them in a row. Um, I haven't decided if I'm going to do them like each border around each house. I've seen people finish them that way and that's super cute. I've also seen them um, stitched together as like a little neighborhood and that's super cute. So I don't know which one I'm going to do yet. Okay, sorry, I'm just looking. I don't think I've done either of those. Crinkle, crinkle, crinkle. Crinkle, crinkle, crinkle. Okay, but these two I have started. Um, 
So this was also a mania start. This says patriotic house trio. Um, and this is like a piece of Joanne's, uh, sorry, it's a really ginormous piece. Joanne's uh, 32 count linen or something like that. I just have the little roof in the middle. Mania start. Obviously, I haven't touched it since. <laughs> um, and I think I kind of said I didn't want to start anymore until I finished one, but we'll see. This is the one, this is probably one of my oldest whips here lately is the Easter, no, the Springhouse Trio. Um, I had all the called for floss for this one together because I kitted this before I decided to kit those other ones. So keep it in a bag that I made. Just plain black. Um, and this is a piece of Be Stitch Me. Very gold. Be Stitch Me. Data. See this one I just put them all together instead of doing the borders in the middle. So I still don't know how I'm gonna um, finish it or if I, what I'm gonna do. I'll probably just do whatever strikes my fancy. Um, so yeah, that's pretty pretty busy. Very springy, I think. I can't remember the name of this. What's oh, right here? Fourteen count purple. I don't know if that's purple. It's pretty regardless. I probably got it off of a Friday night fight night a while back. Which I just got her um, right, he stitched me his um, Halloween box in the mail. So good. Um, she has a winter one coming out that I'm super excited about. I got that one too. Her fabrics are great. There was a lot of extra little goodies. If you have not looked at Be Stitch Me's um, site, go, run, don't walk, run. You <laughs> know a lot of great stuff, which I'll share in my next video, which might end up being this weekend because, I don't know. Sorry, slurping, some tea, okay. There's some more. Um, the majority of these are Mania starts. I have, I have very few that I started before Mania that I'm still working on. I tried to finish a lot of them. Um, and they're kind of in seasonal order, so I'm going to start with like the earlier in the year stuff. Um, and that's all I have to say about that. Um, okay, this is Plum Street Samplers Harvest Keeper. Um, stitched. I think I did a color conversion ish. Um, this is a piece of. This is Probably, oh, I should have it down. This is a piece of sandstone, eight, 16 count Ada by Be Stitch Me. Notice a trend. All I got in Mania was that little border, and I haven't picked it up since. Um, this is in a bag I made. I really like the fabric colors. The corners are folded because of the basket I keep it in, but. I made. That uh, sandstone color is pretty. I don't know. I think a lot of these are still on her site, unless there were Friday night fight nights and there were like one offs or something, but um, I just don't know for sure. Look, Stars and Stripes. Stars and Stripes Forever by Beth Creek. These are with similar colors, but I, I think they're a conversion because I just didn't have um, the called fours. And this is all, all I got to. <laughs> you can't hardly see that white, but that's okay because there's a red 
So that's just like the the kind of detailing, shadowing of it. Um, the colors are really that red, white, and blue looks good on there. This is a 16 count sandstorm beta to stitch. Another project bag. Um, don't mind me. I'm still organized. Um, this is a project bag that came from Dot Dot Blues. Fun little cherries. Found in this Heartstring Samplery Coffee Quaker. Um, stitched with a called for fancy floss on this beautiful pink Ada or pink. Lugana, 25 count Lugana from Be Stitch Me in the color Rosebud. Oh, that's a pathetic start. That's all I have. <laughs> I've been wanting to pull this one back out lately, but the seasonal stitching has kind of been um, calling to me. Let me just set that aside in case I do some more work. Okay, this one feels like it. Yeah, <laughs> um, another project bag I made. Some colors. This is Silver Creek Samplers. Um, I think it's called Dandy Dreams. Yep, Dandy Dreams. Right there. Um, no, I thought I had a lot more progress on this. Nope, just the border. I think I'm stitching it with the DMCs. It looks like. Um, and I, so like the pattern has a lot of these little, I don't know if you can see it, these little like detailed pieces, and I thought I'd probably just leave those out since it has the dots. I'll wait and see when I work on it. But it says, take a breath, gently blow, spread your dreams, and let them grow. I really like that uh, sentiment. What I'm saying. I'll pull that back out and work on it a little bit more. Okay. Um, what's, oh yes. Okay, these are the um, tiered trays by Madame Chantilly. I think I've talked about it before. I'm in the, um, the club from, oh no. What is her name? Happy Little Stitch Shop. Um, we, there's a monthly release that she, because Madame Chantilly has a bunch, like four or five, and she's just put up pictures of a, the newest one, Autumn, I think, but um, it's these tiered trays um, and celebrate spring. She's got a summer. Autumn just came out. There's hopefully going to be a winter. And then um, there is a 4th of July, a Halloween, a Christmas. And an Easter. Um, so this is the one that I have the most done on. Oh, it's so pretty. Um, and I kind of said I wanted to finish this one before I started one of the others. Um, but the club is nice because you get the pattern, you get a you get a full fat quarter of French lace, um, Ada. This is 16 count. I'm sure you could talk to her and get a different fabric if you didn't want that fabric. Um, and, and a fat quarter will fit two of the patterns on there. So you get basically the fabric every two months. You get all the DMC floss for it, for the patterns. Um, so this is the one for Celebrate 4th of July. They're very pretty colors, and I think all I have is the tray. Yep, all I have is the tray. But I feel like that's the kind of big part, and then once you once you get the tray in, it's just doing little motifs. So um, there's that one. I'm going to fall over in here. Um, this is in a French kitchen collection. Um, 
This is a club kit from the Inspired Needle. They are a shop in Illinois. I first heard about this um, series from Two Martini Stitcher. And then I went and signed up for the kit. It's kind of cool because you get you get the pattern, you get a bag, you get the fabric, and you get the fancy floss. Um, it's the called for fancy floss and makes dye work. Um, and then you get you have the option to purchase like the finishing board. This oh, what is that thing called? I can't remember what this thing is called, but you you get this and then they send you the map board with it. Um, I'm waiting on one more, the fourth one, but I'm not close to the other ones being done anyways. This is the first one I started, um, apples and sage. And really, I think if I sat down and put two or three days into this, it would be done, but this hasn't been a priority. I'll pull that from that side too, because I don't need it. Okay, the rest of these, oh, no, they're not in any particular order, so I like. Okay, next, this bag has all of my um, chalk folds. This is a bag from Stitch Toolbox on Etsy. Um, this bag has all of my chalk full pieces in it. The only ones I have all of them kitted except for two. That's sad. The only ones I have started as Boo and Mary I have the small done, um, but not the big have the small for Mary. Um, call for floss. I did start the blue jar. I got the blue small. I'm pretty sure I've shown this in a floss too before. Blue small and the jar. Um, oops. Not made a lot of progress on that. I think I might um, make that jar like purple. I like purple. I like purple in general. I really like Halloween. Alright, lots of noise. Lots of noise. This next one. Oh, sorry, my legs are getting tired. This is the ugly, uh, ugly um, Amazon bag. Is Long May She Waves by Stitch with the Housewives. I have this house to finish this on for next next year, maybe. Um, Call for Floss. I believe I got the pack from the from Black Quarter Shop a while back. This is a piece of uh, 28 count Monaco from Joanne's that I writ dyed. I have a hard time stitching on this Monaco. It is stiff. Stiff, stiff, and I'm finding that I like floppy. <laughs> um, that's why I really like these stitch and stuff. Her stuff's kind of a light amount of stiffness. It's not super stiff, but not super soft, which I actually tend to like soft more than stiff, but whatever. Um, okay, I do not have a cover photo of this. This is part of the Be Well and Stitch movement that was... Um, on kind of around when COVID stay at, stay at home first was implemented. Um, this is a blue flower pattern. It's free, be well in stitch. You can find it um, there. It says, let joy be unconfined. This is all I have done. Um, here's my colors. These are, that's charted in dinky dyes. I, um, Saw somebody convert it to DMC, so I copied that conversion. Um, stitched on a piece of 16 
actually not 16 count. This is probably a 28 Lugana in um, Ice Princess, I think it's called. Ice Queen might be stitching. Damn, the stitching. Um, this was another Mania start. Oh, Valentine Row by the Bent Creek. I'm very close to done. Well, will you be my? I just have Valentine. This is a piece of 25 count Lugana that I got at a thrift store. It's a good find. Um, mostly color and cotton threads that I had in my stash. So I just try to match the colors a little bit, I think. And keep it in this fun Valentine's bag that I made. This was one of the first bags I made, and this vinyl is like really cheap. I don't like it, but it's just for me I'm not selling them, so who cares? Okay, we're well, getting there. Maybe this video won't be as long as I thought it was gonna be. That would be cool. Okay, I really like this, is one of my favorite uh, bags. <laughs> Little plug for myself that I made. Um, it was, yeah, it was fun to match the pattern and. To the pick, pull the fabrics for those. Um, Silver Creek samplers, no winter lasts forever, no spring skips its turn. Um, I don't know. This is a be stitch me fabric. I can't remember the name. I think it's with floss from my stash. I just tried to match the colors closely. Um, mm -hmm. I probably have that written down somewhere, but I can't think of the name right now. Um, sorry. Next is Country, Co Country Cottage Needleworks. Uh, Liberty Lane. I've shown this one before. Um, this was a Mania start. This is a 25 count Mushroom Logana. Um, and I'm doing Priscilla's color conversion. Keep it in a bag by me. Lots of, lots of houses. I feel like I have lots of houses. All those waxing new designs. Okay, now we're into Christmas. Um, getting close to done. This is the uh, Lizzie Kate Christmas Rules. Um, I'm doing it as one piece with I think these are, yeah, this is what Priscilla from Stitching with the Housewives, her colors. Um, this is a piece of 16 count toast by B Stitch Me. All I have is the bottom. Not very much. Project bag by me with the cheap vinyl, so it's better. Um, I'll pull these out. Sorry, I do have to watch that so I can put these back in. I have a little bit left in a mess. Just a few more. A few more, a few more. Okay. Another country cottage needleworks. Away we go. Is that what it's called? Yeah, away we go. Um, stitching it on a piece of 16 count navy from. It's just plain navy. I think it's like a, like a witch elf, maybe. Called for floss. This is another stitch on with the housewives. Um, Jolly Saint Nick and Rudolph. Oh, oh, my needle. 
That was close. <laughs> Call for plus 16, uh, probably 14 count chalkboard black. I don't have very much. I just got the line going around, I think. I started out for like Jolly July and lost steam. Um, this isn't a, a, a light foot print in this bag. It's not Christmassy at all, but uh, I like this. Um, what are they called? Z urchins? Yeah. Let me go back. Um, almost there. Um, next is oh, I've shown this before. Spring tulips by Barbie and pedal by uh pedal pusher. Called for plus sixteen count parch probably fourteen count parchment by Fabric Flare. Um, that's a good spring time. Um, hopefully I'll get that finished. For spring. Um, so this is like in a random spot with the Christmas. This is not Christmas. Country Cottage Needleworks Red, White, and Bloom. Um, I kind of deepened the colors a little bit, then what's called for, oh, I'm so close to done on this. Gosh, I think it's upside down. All I have is the blue, huh? Most of the blue, all on the top and bottom little zigzaggy thingies, but. Hmm, I really should pull that out and finish it. That's a not the same. I don't have to what I what fabric it is. This is a it's a linen. It looks like it came it's just a mystery linen that I got off a of stash unloading. And that's really yucky. <laughs> I, mean, I don't like the colors or something about it. I don't like the top zip there. Prairie schooler reindeer roundup. This is the called for 28 count lamb's wool. Uh, oh, that Santa Claus looks so cute. That's a called for DMC. Might finish this by this Christmas. Maybe. It's kind of a lot of stitching, but maybe. Two more guys, that really didn't take as long as I thought it would. Because we're 38 minutes in, looks like I'm going to go with last two. I didn't count how many flips I showed you, but hopefully you're just watching this on a little bit fast and it won't be so boring. Um, okay, this next one, Holiday Quaker by Lila Studio. It's a big one. Um, this is an 18 count mummy. Five piece stitch me. Oh man. I hope I have this fabric the right way. That could be bad. Look, it's longer than it is wide. And this is the top. Uh oh, I'm gonna measure that. No point in putting any more stitches into this if it's the wrong way. <laughs> that would suck. Um, I keep it in this bag. Now I'm all distracted. I keep it in this bag that I made. I really like that fabric. I'm just gonna set that to the side so I can measure it. Oops. Okay, last whip. This is on a piece of Toast Beta 16 count. Keep it in a project bag I made. This is one of my favorite prints. Um, All Bundled Up by Brenda Gervais. Call for Colors by My Life with Miss Sassy. Um, she was on Instagram and was on Foster, but I don't know what happened to her. Um, 
Here's my chart. Okay, that's that's all. How cool is that? That was probably I think I have forty some whips. Um, I didn't count. I kind of don't want to know. I'm gonna go and check the measurements on that uh, holiday Quaker piece, and uh, I'll let you know if I'm just finishing that as a little pillow <laughs> or what. Um, thanks for tuning in. Hope you enjoyed what you saw. Um, go ahead and like and subscribe, and I will be back in maybe this weekend. Um, maybe I'll wait a little bit since I did this video. I don't know. Anyways, um, happy stitching!